My name is Nikhil Latouche and this is a poem I wrote a while ago called No Excuses. Ghetto and hood is used too frequently to describe descendants of my ancestry who struggle to get away from derogatory terms but we'll use it on ourselves because of the music industry. Am I wrong to be offended? Am I too sensitive for appreciating the past and my means to exist? When the country that in the past wouldn't allow me to sit in the same part of transport a superior race did. I don't let negative thoughts define my ethnicity because I'm proud of the person my past let me be. At this time, our appreciation is masked. We use GHDs and weaves to hide the spirals that sprout from our roots because the idea of good hair is with less curl. Makes disputes between our own because no one wants the grains that are close to the same slave where the beads of sweat remain in the rows of cotton pickers or amongst the sugar cane. But Cain couldn't taste any more bitter when whips are rules from a master who came to your home and stole power. After the abolishment, you fought harder for independence. But then you came over from the third world and soon forgot them. <laughs> if you ask me, I won't tell you that I'm British. With hard labour running from my veins, I'm conditioned. With prejudices against my blackness, I probably don't even know. But some ignore their history, even though it's been partially exposed. I'll say I'm Caribbean. Even if the language to me is foreign, I'll adopt it like the abducted slaves from Africa who came over and were traded like currency or labourers. Your heritage is undeniable when melanin sprouts darker pigments and divides you from the western civilised stereotype you seem you want to be. So you plaster makeup three shades lighter, natural curls replaced with relaxers, post on Instagram team natural no filter and mask that ebony beauty. Despite the beauty and grace of that natural form we use creams and chemicals to change what's the norm because that post-colonial one drop attitude breathes within us you self-hate and strive to alter what nature chiseled to define us you scrutinize a big nose nappy hair and those thugs on the street but we're defined by ourselves and what we choose to be until a mark duggan or mike brown occurs we don't see that unjust system but when the media take an alt on it approach and an unjust angle you're quick to say it doesn't sit right for me people took time to make a name of their own i'm sure martin luther and rosa didn't fight for what we've become a dilution imitation only proud when it suits us to stunt on roadside and blow trees has evolved this our distinction don't blame it on racism we are seen as a color but i'm sick of people using it as an excuse to hinder these misconceptions are based on a small amount who feel due to this unjust system we have earned the right to turn to the roadside to caress still to make you feel bigger than the brother bleeding. That's not winning when your street fame starts dwindling. Four walls are all and years of tears of no future. It's a shame you didn't think about bus in case when you squeeze that trigger. Facebook names will campaign for your denied freedom because you're ripping a postcode you don't own. The government you place blame on, but they're not the ones in control. Because you're born in the gutter doesn't mean that's all you'll be. But going on that wrong road proves them right statistically. Single parents, no father, doesn't help because of your skin tone. They're all just excuses. Don't use them to hinder though. Use them as fuel to prove. Yes, the slums are where I'm from. But I'll stand that proud like the king and queen I was meant to be. And I will follow Martin Luther, Mandela, Maya, and chase those dreams. Because if we're ever going to see equality, we're going to have to be the best we can be.